Hey friends, welcome to Sabbath School Daily, where we have been studying from this lesson right here, Ephesians. Today we're starting a brand new lesson, lesson number five, which has the title, The Mystery of the Gospel, and today is Sabbath's lesson. The memory, work, the memory verse this week comes from Ephesians chapter 3, verse 20 and 21 that says, Now to him who is able to do immeasurably more than all we ask or imagine, according to his power that is at work within us, to him be glory in the church and in Christ Jesus throughout all generations, forever and forever. Amen. This week, we're going to be going through Ephesians chapter three, which is a continuation of what we've already studied throughout, uh, you know, this quarter, uh, chapter one, chapter two. Uh, we're going to be seeing what Paul has to say about his hardships. Um, here we find Paul imprisoned in a Roman prison. It is not a good situation. It's not comfortable. He's in chains. Um, it, we're going to see in tomorrow's lesson what is involved in Paul being in that Roman prison. So that's the context of where he's writing from. And because of that, he's worried about uh, his reputation on the church, reflecting on the church. And so he doesn't want anyone to think less of Christ or of the church because of his situation. So that's one of the things that we're going to be looking at. Another thing, and that has to do with the word mystery in the title of our lesson, uh, which is the mystery of how the Gentiles now, because of Christ, they are co-heirs. They are participants in the family of God, just like their brothers and sisters uh, that were coming from Judaism. And so that was uh, revolutionary for everyone. Uh, the, the, to the Jews that were reading these, these writings of Paul that were hearing his words, to them this was absurd uh, that Gentiles could be understood as co-participants and co-heirs in the kingdom of God. That was just not a reality. That wasn't a re that hadn't been a re reality for thousands of years up to that point, right? Over a thousand years. And now Paul is saying that in Christ, they're all one. In Christ, the Gentiles are now participants. They don't have to go through Judaism. They don't have to first convert and be proselytes in Judaism to then become Christians. So this is a revolutionary uh, idea. This is a revolutionary teaching. Also to the Gentiles that are hearing this, it's revolutionary for them that they don't have to go through all the rites of Judaism and that they are considered brothers and sisters, co-heirs and participants in the gospel story. So that is the mystery that Paul is talking about. That's what we're going to be uh, studying about and learning about this week. I encourage you to study your lesson. If you can, read Ephesians chapter three as a whole. It's going to give you a good context. You'll see that Paul, he kind of, one thing that I like about Paul is that and that I can relate to a little bit. Obviously, I'm not the Apostle Paul. I don't have the genius of the Apostle Paul, but I, I, I have a very hard time sometimes staying on point, all right? That's, my wife's told me that a billion times, all right? Stay on point. Talk about what you're talking about. You, When you're telling stories, you go way too deep into details, into this and into that. So one thing with the Apostle Paul that we're going to see here in chapter three, that he starts talking about something and then he, he kind of goes into something else and then he comes back. And so I can really relate to that because I'm a little bit like that myself. So I really appreciate that he, uh, he kind of loses himself in his ideas and then he comes back or maybe he does that intentionally. Um, I don't do that intentionally. It just happens. But we're going to see that throughout this, uh, this lesson. So study uh, Ephesians chapter 3. I think it's going to give you a good solid base on what we're going to be talking about this week. You can read it pretty quick. It's not a, a huge chapter. And also, please remember, study your lesson, look up the memory verses, write out the answers, write out your questions, write out your considerations. If you do have a question, if there's something that crosses your mind, please write it down in the comments. I'll try to get to it. I'll try to answer it as best I can. And also, um, share this with, with other people. We had a question this last week, I think it was on, on the Facebook page, where um, someone was asking how to acquire one of these lessons, right? And so sometimes I forget that uh, we can have people that are listening and that are watching that really don't even know what we're talking about, right? What is this, this lesson that he's talking about? So if that is you, you can go to any Seventh-day Adventist church and they will give you one for free. You just ask for a Sabbath school quarterly or you can go to the website, which I do not have memorized right now, but if you just put on Google, you put purchase Sabbath school quarterly on Ephesians or the third quarter of 2023, it'll pop up. I think it's Adventists uh, quarterly or something like that. Um, my wife is telling me that she knows. Do you know what it is, Danny? Oh, that's right. I can put it on the screen. You see, that's my wife. She's so smart. So I will put it on the screen right under here. Um, and, and while I edit it, and that is that is actually a very good idea, and um, and then that way you can also uh, get one of these. You can also study it online. You don't have to buy it if you you know have a computer, have a phone, have a tablet. You can go to 
this website that I will be putting right here. And that will also give you the, uh, the, the lesson where you can go and you can study it. And so there is no excuse not to study your lesson. Look it up, learn with us, and I'm sure that the Lord will bless you through that. Also, please remember to like, to share, and to subscribe to our videos. We release one every day, and I hope to see you again here tomorrow for another Sabbath School Daily.